is. We are in the Utah Desert right now, guys. We are in El Centro, California, right along the border here. And um, this is a totally different area than, than what we've seen in Yuma. And this area is the site that is... That the, can you guys hear me? Because I have this microphone on. Holler if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Hi. Let me know if you can hear me. Is my audio coming through? Loud and clear. Cool. I got this cool new microphone. Okay, so Yuha Desert, guys. We are in El Centro, California. And this is the area. It's called El Centro Project 1, Priority 4. It is listed in the, from DHS and the DOD as being a high-priority area in need of a wall. So the federal government was spending, has spent $100 million to replace this section of vehicle barrier here. Um, there's not a whole lot of action over here. Let me see if I can flip this around. So as you can see, we have vehicle barrier, Normandy style vehicle barrier. Um, we are in the middle of nowhere. We are literally in the middle of the desert. Okay. This is Mexico on the other side of the, of the barrier. Here is the, the marker, the monument marker, establishing the treaty. And so the other side of, that is the actual boundary between Mexico and the U.S. And this is not a family units uh, area, right? This is not an area where, where families are coming through. But it, this is listed as a high priority area um, in need of the wall. So $100 million, guys, to replace this vehicle barrier with a, with a, with a wall with a wall. So, again, we are in the desert. Not, not any action. We haven't seen any action. We haven't seen any signs of crossings. Um, we're looking for footprints. We're looking for clothing. Although there are some beer bottles over there. There are some beer bottles over there. Let's see. Um, just directly on the other side of this mountain is a highway in Mexico. There's a road in Mexico. So, you know, no telling what goes on out here. It's pretty barren. It's just open desert. And then uh, the Normandy-style fencing goes, you know, for miles. But $100 million dollars to replace this fence with wall. Now, this is being blocked. So in the lawsuit, where the Sierra Club and the Borderlands communities are suing the uh, Trump administration and um, the DOD and everybody for blocking the funding for the wall, in that lawsuit is Yuma Project 1, which is the area that we'd been covering for those three months where all of the uh, groups, large groups of people were coming through. And that area was listed as Yuma Project 1 as a high priority, top priority in need of a wall. Yuma Project 2 was a little further down by the port of entry. Now this is El Centro Project 1, priority 4. So, why, why is this area listed as such top priority in need of a wall? We don't know. This is our first time out here. This is uh, Mike's neck of the woods, though. So I'm going to turn it over to Mike, and he's going to give you a little more detail. All right, recap us. Recap. Well, we found one. El Centro, Project El Centro, 1. Project 1. Lawsuit. 
Uh, it's in that lawsuit. The appeals court said, uh, ruled against Trump. You can't spend the DOD money to put this in. Uh, same with Yuma one. You okay. can't spend the money. Doesn't mean it won't necessarily be built. You know, DHS might get creative and draw from those funds that were not uh, denied by the judge. So could be that this goes forward, but myself personally being out here, you really got to be out here, right, Jen? You got to right. sense it. A Google map right. doesn't do justice no. to being here and looking right, at it. Right, right, right. You got to be at this spot. So we're at uh, essentially BP Hill back behind us with the floor trucks and all the high tech stuff. I say that we put in some more high tech stuff and we just leave the vehicle barrier in and not spend the hundred million dollars of taxpayer money. And this sector is somewhat locked down. Family units aren't traipsing through that desert, no. only to get to this desert and, and then have to go through the heat. I, right. I, I don't see that. So this is very different than our human yeah, one. Yeah, definitely. Very different. Definitely, because we're so far from town too. Like Yuma was like, what, t five, 10 minute drive five, into town? Five, 10 minutes away to the jack in yeah, the Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So, this is just wide open desert, you guys. I mean. Wide open desert, no, wow, look on a map. Right. I mean, a map doesn't even do justice for how large this is. So this is all, by the way, public land. We are on public land. It's Bureau of Land Management land, uh, thousands of acres. But what's interesting is that if you pan out that way, Jen, uh -huh. here's kind of the area of concern. Way out there at the very end, uh -huh. it hits the Pacumba Wilderness. We're going to go there next on your way out, and we're going to explore that. It'll, it'll get to the rocks and then it just dead ends. Okay. So now if the smugglers are gonna do the job, they're just gonna go around it. Right. So we'd have spent a hundred million dollars here. Right, and, and it's gonna a, end, the wall's gonna end down there the anyway. The wall's gonna end there too. So I don't know, to me, I'm, I'm for walls, but I keep saying to people, effective walls, exactly. are, are they effective? Right. But Border Patrol, DHS doesn't wanna show us stats for this area. See, right. I've been asking for stats. Can you tell me what has come across here in let's say the last two years right uh you know you can't get that information you right. got to file a foia right and they don't respond to that and they don't respond to that it'll take a long time uh -huh. they want to wear you down so then you got to get people like judicial watch to help you out mm -hmm. but they're all jammed up with all their right. stuff so it's a beautiful area I, I don't know i like the desert I, I like being the desert right but you're right i mean families aren't coming through here you know uh you know, smugglers aren't dropping off groups of a hundred here to waltz through this desert. They'll die. There's no way they're walking through this desert. That's what I'd like to know. Family units versus hardcore smugglers. Right. Drugs. Yeah. What what has come through here? Right. W would they tell us? Right. And there's Probably no not. there's no signs of the migrant clothing or you know, <laughs> any of the other stuff that we saw in Yuma. Yeah, however, we did meet the guy down at the base. Yes, we did see a the, Humane Borders guy. Yeah. A Humane board, Borders uh, guy was... was water, was, water org or something? He was doing a water drop. Uh-huh. So... Along you know, Highway 98 down there. You know, so is it a wait and watch thing? I mean, it's pretty hot here. It's, you know, I'd say just as hot as Arizona. About 102, I think, right now. And we're, we're at a little altitude. Get down down then you can see the highway right 98 down there at the base right so it's crazy right we're, we're putting walls where we don't need them and we have no walls where we need them that's our government for us right yeah man there just isn't anything out here However, because it's nighttime, you want to come out sometime. If we got some brave people that want to come out and camp at this spot, we launch a Just drone that's watch. got infrared. We might catch an interesting group of smugglers, not family units, but smugglers. That would be a treat for me to catch them in the air. Yeah. Or from the air. When he gets his drone back. Mike had his drone confiscated by BLM. Yeah. Yeah, it's a technicality not being registered when it was registered, but I, I'm gonna get it back. They're just messing with them. Yeah, they just. They don't want them out here flying drones and and 
investigating as a private citizen. Right. Right. Our, our government does not want us out here exposing, you know. We're showing people the real. Showing people the truth. The real wall. You know, there it is. Because truth is now an offense. But, you know, we're going to keep at it, guys. We're never going to stop. We're never going to be silent. We're going to keep getting out here. We're going to keep bringing you the truth. We're going to keep digging and keep fighting. Hey, DHS, hello, coming. Oh, here comes a DHS chopper to, <laughs> to see what we're doing over here. Yeah, there's literally nothing over here. So... Again, I'm just confused why this area is listed as top priority of in need of a wall. So I'm going to do a little pan around here. This is the El Centro sector. As you can see, there goes the chopper. Here is the area, guys. Very barren. Open desert. All right, next stop. Look at this cool rock. End of the wall. End of the wall. You see that's cool rock, huh? Oh, come on, gimbal. We're going down that way to the end to see what it looked like, what it would look like. You know, so Mike's right. If a wall does go up right here and it, it ends a mile up the road, do, do we really think that um, smugglers or drug mules or drug traffickers are just going to stop? Oh, no, there's a wall here. Guess I better turn around. Find a new job. No. They're going to go to the end of the wall and just cut over that way. So, you know, our government has no solution to these problems. No solution at all. But again, you know, I'm not seeing, you know, the large groups of family units, a.k.a. men with children. Um, not seeing any, any evidence of that around here. Taking pictures of me. Onward and forward. Should I leave it running live? Should I leave it running live while we drive? No, because we're going to drop down the valley. It'll cut out. Huh? It'll cut out. Okay. Do you guys want to stay live while we drive? I don't mind. Yes, they want to stay live. I might switch with spots with Joanne maybe or maybe I'll sit in the bed yeah there's nobody out here but we're gonna drive down that way let's go well, you know, what we're gonna do is go back and get your car we're gonna take 98 over okay all right all the way back over there okay never mind then we're going back to get my car. My car is over on the edge of the road. All right. We'll drive the wall all the way. Okay, I'm going to ride in the bed. Uh, Too hot? Right up here. Just right in the front. Okay. Yeah. Right up here. Okay. And you have the windshield. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, hold on, guys. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's get everything secured here. Thank you. Let's go. It's interesting. I would like to drive the entire border. I would like to travel the entire border from coast to coast. That'd be cool. We've pretty much seen all of the Arizona border. California. Um, it's actually pretty cool. Tijuana has the biggest wall I've ever seen. What was that? Like a 30-foot sucker? Yes, yeah, it's high. Ooh, it's hot. It's their 30-foot 
in this microphone, you guys. So, here we're gonna do reset. Here's our pilot. Let's see, okay, so we wanna go on that road all the way yes. over. Did you lose it? No, it's back. Might be spotty, but we'll see what we can get. So guys, remember, SPLC is suing me and our patriots for exposing the truth about illegal immigration. So if everybody, you know, contributed a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, whatever you can give, we can fight back. We can stand up to the SPLC smear machine. So check out my page, AZ Patriots, uh, paypal.me forward slash AZ Patriots or gofundme.com forward slash AZ Patriots. I'm out here on the front lines bringing you this stuff and uh, you know, they want me silent. So, should I put my seatbelt on? Yeah. I have no mic. No, it looked like kind of way out. I just... Kind of got to do a little four wheel in here. So why would we spend a hundred million dollars on a wall right here? It doesn't... It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense to me. It's just illogical, you know. But right. I know everybody says, "Build the wall, build the wall, build right. the wall." But we got to build the wall where it's gonna make a difference. Let's have an effective wall. Right. God, there's. I might lose signal, so just uh, bear with us, guys. Yep. For a monument, you know, if you see a monument up there, we'll stop with the monument. So El Centro is what, just north of Calexico? El Centro, correct. The reason they call this the El Centro sector is because the station, in El Centro sector, Border Patrol goes up to the Hakumba Wilderness that is straight up at the end of this. Gotcha. Yeah. And then it starts the Campo. Yeah. Now, honestly, I mean, if they're gonna build the wall, I wouldn't mind having wall from just coast to coast. Give me one continuous wall. Takes a while. <laughs> yeah, but if you're gonna do it, like that's the way to do it. No, yeah. no yeah. open spots, right? You have to build in sections. And yeah. Stuff, so seal that baby up. But you know, this is government land, so they figure, okay, they can do what they want. Yeah. So and, we're. And keep in mind, folks. Do you like? Yeah. 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 Okay. So keep in mind about the lawsuit. It had nothing to do with whether the wall was effective or not. It only had to do with the transfer of Department of Defense funds Bugs. from one little pocket right. over to DHS pocket right. so that they could use to do. And, and Sierra Club doesn't like all that stuff because it envi uh, it waived all the environmental regulations. Right, but so they, don't, they don't care about all the garbage and all of the water bottles and migrant shit that's left all over that desert. The environmentalists don't care about any of that. It doesn't seem so because right. the places we've been Oh, what? Look like a, a monument. Yeah, but look, I mean, we're not seeing any footprints. We're not seeing any, you know, yeah, yeah. items of clothing or trash, water bottles, nothing. Like, there's no evidence of crossings right here. So I don't know why this particular area would be listed as a top priority in need of a wall. You know? Like, who, who's advising on this? BP or DOD? We don't know. Uh, actually, Army Corps of Engineers has a lot to do with it because they were, they were given the authority to manage the contracts. So the contractor out here, of course, see, here's the other kind of dirty part, is that Army Corps of Engineers only had a select number of contractors. So we could say, Hmm, gee, what's involved with that? You know, Army Corps got only Barnard and Cisco and some of those. So people that have more conspiracy minds would think, how did these guys get this sweet contract? Right. Because when the contract, if this doesn't go through because of the courts, the contractors win anyway. Because they've already been paid because for the they've supplies. Been, they've, they're going to get penalties. They're uh -huh. going to get all that. You know who loses in this whole thing? Us, the it's Americans. the taxpayer. Yep. I'm always looking for the taxpayer. I don't care about a right. contractor. 
I care about my money going into right. building something. That's not getting it's, built. It's not really going to be effective. Right. I'm pretty opinionated, that's for sure. Yeah. I, I'm that's like, why we yeah, make a good team. Yeah, we, we are very, very opinionated. Uh -huh. But op opinions, though, with with camera shots mm -hmm. and facts right. to go along with it. Right. That, that's, that's, I think, how we tell a story. Yep. We'll let you guys see for yourself. You know, if you ever want to come out sometime, just come on out. You know, fly into fly into Imperial. There's a there's a commercial flight from wherever, and uh, I'll take you along this so-called vehicle barrier, and you can see for yourself. We're kind of low, but Mexican Highway. Yeah, Mexican Highway 2 still runs parallel to the border on this there, on this side over here. Five miles, I think. Yes. Maybe five miles. Out. We, guys, we are with uh, Mike B. from Southwest Border Watch. He's the brains. <laughs> well, I find all the good spots, I think. I'm, I'm, well, not all the good ones. Primarily California, Arizona. Yeah, Mike's the one that found the Yuma site that we've been uh, at for the last three months. But again, it's totally dried up. We've made friends with the neighbor who lives right there. And, uh, you know, neighbor kind of gives us a report on the activities when we're not there. And he said, you know, it's slowed down to nothing. And you know what's a shame? And we have to try to correct this. Hmm. We made, I think, a big impact on slowing the family units. Because yes. the last family unit that went through, the 100 or so mm -hmm. men was there, after that, it dropped Nothing. like a rock. Yeah. Now, the news media, you know, they're now picking up on the stuff like tariffs and stuff. But we did that right. before even they were talking about right. tariffs. Right. So we really ought to push these newspapers, Yuma Sun, and even the Border Patrol guys to say, hey, the Patriots just weren't bringing out awareness, there yeah. To stand in our way. Right, they no. Didn't stand in our exactly. way. They exposed stuff. They That's exposed just the it. smuggler. We brought they awareness got space out there. to the smuggling. We uh, shine, the part I shined the light. There's some. Shine the light on, uh, you know, the activities that are happening right there in broad daylight under, under everybody's noses. Criminal organizations rolling through, dropping off hundreds of people at a time to just waltz into the country. There's another monument. Um, so yeah, I don't think that they like that. I think they're, they were used to working without any resistance. You got my loud mouth. <laughs> they don't call me the screamer for nothing. So yeah, I think, I think we should work on if we had help from your followers to pressure, you know, the press into giving us, you know, our kudos. Uh, Stop calling us vigilantes. Yeah, exactly. You know, we're not vigilantes. We're exposers. Right. Uh, I'm gonna get a shot of that. Okay. We got a monument here, so let's see what number this is. There's those like landing. There's that landing thing again. It looks like it looks like a marker. Hey, that one was by the other marker too. See that in the dirt right there, you guys? I don't know if it's maybe they can see from the choppers. Joanne, say hi to Brandy. She's on the video. Hi, Brandy. Miss you. You should be over here with us. I don't know how much, uh, I don't know how well this connection is going to be because we are in the middle of nowhere, but it's interesting to see the different, you know, the different terrains in each, in each sector of wall. I do want to try to get out to El Paso at some point, um, probably at the end of the summer though. It's way too hot. Yeah. Hey, Baldy. Yeah, this is not a wall, this is a vehicle barrier, and this is um, the only thing right here separating the U.S. from Mexico. But again, you know, this is all just open desert. We're not seeing, we're not seeing, uh, you know, families walking through here. This is, 
This is some pretty rough desert. And if, you know, if you're not, if you're not, if you're not familiar with the Arizona desert or the California desert, it's brutal. Like people will, you'll die. You will die. There's no shade, right? No trees to provide any kind of shade. It's hot. Just checking out that that marker. So this is a labor of love, you know. We've been at this um, in total about six months, six months to a year. So when we started checking out the border, because there's just so much, and I, you know, each sector has its own has its own thing. So they, they did, um, the news was just reporting that they opened a migrant shelter in, what was it Phoenix? It was one that just opened up that they're going to start housing them um, instead of the churches. So I was so disgusted. I was just screaming at my TV and I didn't listen to the whole story. So I have to, I have to look it up. But, uh, and then uh, Yuma... Yuma, they opened a temporary holding center as well. So kind of like the 10 city, um, they did open it up for the public, not the public, the left-wing media. And uh, of course they would not let right-wing vigilante extremists in there, such as myself. No, not an extremist, not a vigilante. What are you guys whispering about? Oh. Oh. Okay. Come on, Mike. Chop, chop. What? Chop, chop. Yeah, I know. Chop, chop. chop. Yeah, guys, I've been screaming on my TV for far too long. That's what, you know, that's what prompted me to get out and fight. And by the way, there's a killer bar at the end of here. It's a bar? The, the end of the fence bar. Oh, really? No. <laughs> Fresh tacos, cervezas. Really? We should, we should put one in. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. just got sick of, of screwing up my TVs, guys. And that's, you know, we need everybody involved. We need everybody to stand up and fight. This is, this is a war. We're in a war right now. And, uh, you know, we're losing. In my opinion, we're losing. We definitely lost the cultural war. We definitely lost the uh, spiritual war. <laughs> what are you two up to? So yeah, nothing, nothing exciting over here. This is the El Centro border. El Centro. El Chapo. Hmm. No, we do not work with Lewis. What? What did you see? I'll show you. you. see a head peeking up over a little hill? <laughs> no. Migrants? Chasing back over. No. What did you find? No. Breaking news. Oh, BP. <laughs> what did you see? Oh, that's cute. Oh, wow. I'm going to get a shot of that, man. You know? Yeah. Who did that? BP? Who did that? It's a chain. It's a chain. Chain migration? Oh. <laughs> that was good. It's kind of cool. When my 
Frank gets out of the car, you can never get him back in quickly. Look at him. He's like, what else can I get? What else can I get a picture of? <laughs> you want a water? Yes, thank you. Uh. Yeah. Hey, Eddie. Eddie. Eduardo. Yeah. Did you see? Oh my gosh. So when we did that interview with the Mexican media, when they were at our Patriot Caravan, our story was all, like so many Mexican uh, papers picked it up. Yeah. I could not believe it. Mm -hmm. I, I know. I <laughs> know. Like, I specifically what? did not want to be in the, uh, right. I did not want to be in the Mexican paper. And sure enough, they ended up taking a picture from my profile. Sure. And okay. put me in the paper, and while, and so we found out about this while we were in Mexico last week, oh. and uh, and somebody messaged the page and said, "You have a, your head. What did they say? You have a bounty. Yeah. Um, price. you have a price tag of, on your head of twenty thousand dollars. I was but like, I say, is that all? Well, I got to be worth more than that. Come on, uh, come on. But then I was reading these articles too on the Infowars page about. Um, citizen journalists kidnapped and missing in oh. near Mexico. So I was like, shit, I better change my name and <laughs> lay low. Pipe down for a minute. You're gonna have to wear a wig. And... Yeah, we need yeah I don't, I don't, I don't blend very well. No. Uh, no. <laughs> I didn't hope to have a Trump shirt. <laughs> nah, no. Or but... to do that outspoken. <laughs> right, right. I'll have to like buy a wig and. Do black, uh, black face. <laughs> <laughs> Patriots. No, we don't back down, guys. You know what? If they're going to get me, they're going to get me. What am I going to do? I mean, I'm obviously careful and cautious, but we do what we do. There is a, you know, there is a risk involved, but... We'll just wait here and see. Oh, that road looks cool. Oh, I had some in the car. You should have told me I would have got them. Say hi. A vehicle? Yeah. What kind of vehicle? Uh, Where? Border Patrol. Behind us? In front. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> I, I've learned to just, I just say hi and yeah. hi and bye. Man, there is nothing out here. Nothing. No, I'm nothing. 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 Here. nothing but the uh, flat-tailed horn lizard. Yep. That's a big deal out here. Yeah, I see that really cool. You're coming out there. Let's see, I'm just, well, uh, I think <laughs> It is pretty. But man, there's nothing out here. And that's the kind of stuff you get stuck in real easy. Right, right. Yeah, no, that's, that's what, treacherous. What, your tires? That's treacherous stuff, yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's not even like a footprint. There's not a shoe. Definitely why, no why pants. Why would they want to come here when they can go right. to the Yuma right. spot? Right. And it's still open for business. Right, but they're not crossing at the Yuma spot. Where the hell are they crossing now? Uh, maybe they decided just... Because they're, they're opening shelters, so obviously there's a need, right? Maybe they're gearing up for the next, you know, for the In season. In the fall? Oh. Maybe after the summer. Maybe the smugglers are on vacation. Yeah, <laughs> might have taken a sabbatical. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they went to Kabul. Yeah. Yep, can't carry my uh, my weapons in California, so I gotta have my my muscle. Yep, no weapons in this. No truck. weapons. Oh, that's right. I no know. Drugs, no weapons in this <laughs> I truck. feel naked. Yeah, I feel naked. naked. It must feel weird. Oh, and he's got a park right at the monument. Okay. Is it BP? Yeah, of course. So you get a stop to take a picture yeah, I'm gonna of the pull road. right in front of him, push him off the road. No. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna go past him. Park behind him. Yeah. California, I feel like I'm in another country when I'm here. <laughs> Hello. Ooh. Yeah. 
take video? No. Yeah, no, you cannot carry a firearm. In fact, when you're in California, you're, you have to take your magazines out, lock them up in the glove box. Oh, you left. Oh, why'd you leave? <laughs> um, take your empty firearm, lock it in the trunk, and that's the only way you can travel with uh, firearms through California. I have a toy gun. Yeah, right. right. I have my bear spray. I have my my uh, pepper spray gun. It shoots seven bursts, 20 feet. Oh, wow. So. Does it have a way to change cartridge? Yeah, and then you just change the cartridge out. Okay. Where'd you get that? Cabela's. Okay. We've never been out here. I wanted to definitely check it out. Um, we are in El Centro, California, which is um, just north of Calexico, which is right along the border. And this is the El Centro Project 1 that is listed in the lawsuit that is claiming to be in uh, top priority for a, a need of a wall. So the federal government wanted to spend $100 million. You're just jumping on federal government wanted to spend $100 million to build a wall in this area here to stop what? We don't know. We haven't seen any um, signs or evidence of traffic. Um, no footprints. There's that was, the, that was the first Border Patrol agent we saw. <laughs> in what? Uh, in a couple of time, Yeah, actually? a couple hours. The one on the hill? Yeah. So, well so, patrolled. Right. Well, we know BP is understaffed. Just that's all around the board. We've gone five miles. Five miles. Five We've gone five miles already? 5.2. You see, he's not bothering us. But recognize this, even though it's a border, unlike the others that we've been to, Jen. Mm -hmm. This is a route. This is a designated BLM route. So technically... What does that mean? Uh, it means that we're allowed to be on it. This okay. Is, this is public land. Gotcha. No, it's, you know, there's... Well, I'm going to take this microphone off so you can... It doesn't, it doesn't mean you can't be on this road. Unlike those other roads we've been on, of course, they were construction. Right. It said, hey, you know, I'm sorry, but this is a law enforcement zone. Right, right. No, I mean, if it's public land, you, you have the right to be on it. I don't see a whole lot of law enforcement going on. No. No. What is that, Jim Acosta? I don't see a whole lot going on here. <laughs> wow. It's pretty, though. Yeah, see, this stuff is treacherous. I mean, you gotta, you just really gotta understand. If you're, if you're trying right. to smuggle something. Something. Um, family units, definitely not. No. People with big packs of drugs and stuff. Maybe. You know, but right. that stuff is, it's thick. Uh, you sink in that stuff. Uh, it's it's just a no man's land. Right, right. But again, I mean, no trash, no water bottles, no nothing. Like I'm expecting, if I'm seeing something that says that it's a top priority for a wall, like this is a top priority area, I would expect to see some signs of crossings. No. And this over the Arizona sections and Tucson right. sections. Right, 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 right. Right? This, this is what I mean. Priority four? Mm -hmm. It's built money here so they can't spend in the areas that it needs to be spent in so they can still funnel their illegals into the country. Wow. This, this is what I'm trying to communicate to people, Jen. I'm glad you got the live feed going. Yes. So for people out there, they got to understand, we want a wall, an effective wall. But we just don't want it in the middle of nowhere. Right, just for the sake of having it. Just for the sake of having it and saying, hey, gee, look at the wall, really. Okay. I keep preaching that. Like, I, know, I get slammed sometimes. Oh, you don't want the wall. Well, well the no, wall, I do, but the, where? The wall in Tijuana was amazing. It was the tallest wall I've ever seen. Well, that's the 30 footer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Oh. Yeah, I 
It's not holding a charge very well. Mikey? Ah. Uh. I gotta charge it. I charged it all day yesterday though. It shouldn't die already. Come on, I wanna see some action. Oh no, this is changing. Why, why is it going from... Why are these posts oh, up here? Yeah, the big posts. Why are they adding posts in here? This old stuff. This is 90s stuff. Oh. Okay, gimbal's done. Do you have a charger? Um, in my car. Aww. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> see, I'm sorry, see, it's a red post here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that means you'll have to do it by hand. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take it off here because it's gonna drop here in a second. Oh, it is? Yeah, as soon as it dies, it's done. What happens? This part drops down. Yeah, it loses, <laughs> loses the circle. Yeah. What? Well, I don't know. I've never dealt with one. <laughs> See? <laughs> it does that. Just hold it. I won't hold it. You're making people like me out there going, Man, I want to see the ground. It's interesting that you know we and we have to come out here and check so we can't just take things at face value anymore right i mean i don't trust anything that that's put out there on the mainstream media um you know unless i've seen it from my own eyes it takes a lot to get me to believe anything that they're pushing out because they lie and they tell you what you want to hear and they you know they they narrate it in a way that tells the story that they want to tell um, just, just like with Yuma and the uh, asylum seekers, they told us that all these people were the illegal asylum seekers. And they were here because they were fleeing violence, and 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 that they had all been vetted and they were all legal. No, that's not the case. And we learned that by following the buses around, and we learned that by getting out there and seeing them cross for ourselves and talking to them and uh, listening to their stories and we find out the truth so if you want the truth you have to go find the truth don't don't count on the mainstream media to get your information it's, it's patriots like us boots on the ground willing to get out here put ourselves on the front lines to investigate and and tell the story. You know, there's this thing at Where's Waldo? Right? Mm -hmm. You heard that? Yeah. Where's Paul? Paul Flores. <laughs> Where's Paul? Where's Paul? We don't want to see him out here. <laughs> no. No. Oh, that's No, yeah, Paul's uh, baiting. He was baiting Paloma. And you. Yo. You were on there, too. Oh. Baiting Paloma, too? He did a video of... Uh, uh, Paloma yeah. and Mike. Oh. Yeah, I've heard trying to paint him in the Going out and trying to stomp him. Right. Like, right. Oh, Flores well, that's, a that's, that's not what. That's not what a true uh, journalist would do. Right. A journalist. Well, proudly we say we are citizen journalists, but we're activists. Yep. Proud to say we're an activist. If you're not active in securing your country, then you're just gonna let it go. Well, we're not just gonna. Let it go. There's principles involved. That's right. So. And you don't walk up in another man's camp. <laughs> That's all yeah, say about just that. blazing. Yay, what Daddy are you doing? <laughs> That's so funny. He's yeah. just. He holds your ground, though. That's a badass. Yeah, well, you know, because I knew he was. He was coming hot and heavy with his camera <laughs> right in my face, so I just right away just had to set the tone, you know. And he's like, back in the car, dear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get between them. Yeah, oh, back, back in the car, dear. It's like getting between cats when they're fighting, you right. know, or dogs. Well, that would be me. And he's got little, little tops to him. <laughs> Jeremy. What? Hi, Jeremy. Hi, Jeremy. 
What's up, y'all? It's on the border. Gonna do it again. Do it. What's up? Hello, everybody. Tell we should be out here. Come on out sometime. Baby. Join us. We'll put you in the back of the truck. <laughs> yep. Hi. Mikey. 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 Is he sleeping? <laughs> He's waiting for the bar at the end of the right. end of fence bar. Right. Uh, he's a little tired. I'd like. Oh, okay. We I have like the next monument. To explain a little bit more. I'm sorry, folks. So my friend will have a better scope of what she does. Quick pick. Oh, what are you talking about, David? Monument 228. Hey, Barbara. What pretty color is that? Oh, Facebook is just. Rock. Um. Shadow banning us so bad. Really? Yes, we put videos out, and you know, when we first started this page, the videos were like 80,000 to 150,000 views, and that was only with a couple thousand followers. And then, as the you know, as the followers, as the following grew a little bit, the views just tanked. Like we did, we did one last yesterday. We posted one, and. I think I had like 900 views, 1,000 views. What? Why? Horrible. Because even though you post it, so a shadow ban is like, it's like you can see it, but nobody else can see it. So you think it's up, but it's not. So you, if you ask someone else to check, you can tell. Yeah, or it just doesn't show up in people's um, feeds. Oh, like, they're jerk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you share stuff into groups and you can see it, but it's not. You know, nobody, it's not getting in front of anybody. It's a shadow man. So, wow. they're not completely deleting your stuff, but yeah. nobody's seeing it. Yeah, It'd be yeah. nice to... Yeah, I, try, I even tried to boost it. I tried to boost the post, and I said no. Uh, they rejected my boost because it had to do with uh, political slash um, social issues, and they don't want me influencing you in any way. So that should tell you something and right there. And decisions are based on the person? They're, the they're person. based on the fact that they hate me. <laughs> well, but they have people working on the site. Right. So is right. it based on uh, that opinion on, on the whoever was happening to yes. be, check, be checking yes. you out? Hate speech. So someone else could be checking you out from Facebook and think, eh, Sorry. Yeah, but most people that work at Facebook are left wing. Mikey, I noticed they have these out for every monument. What? Oh, the, yeah. the pads? Yeah, that's what I've noticed. You see that? You see a, not all of those, but. So we're just going to drive this to the end of the road, guys. End of the road. I'm sure, it's your feet are page, and I was asking if you can give a little detail on your background and what you're doing so my friends see this feed, they'll know more about what you're, what you're doing. Okay, so. Um, a little bit of background about us. We are just average everyday citizens, patriots. We are um, citizen journalists, so you know we don't have any degrees in broadcasting or journalism, but we get out here and we follow the stories that are um, important to us and to you, and we just bring you the raw, unedited footage from our perspective and uh, from our viewpoint and expose it for what it is. Um, we are also activists, so we stand boldly and fearlessly for what we believe in. And uh, we're based out of Arizona, and we um, have been following the border story, the border crisis, ever since the caravans first came about. And uh, Mike here, Mike Bennett, and I met online. So Mike uh, reached out to the page and asked if anybody wanted to come check out this site in Yuma. So I was like, oh, I don't know who this guy is. So I looked through his mutual friends, and uh, he was friends with a couple of people I knew. So I reached out to them, and I was like, well, what do you know about this guy? And they're like, oh, he's great people. So we ended up meeting up. Mike was on the Mexico side. We were on the U.S. side. And Mike was watching the border from Mexico, and we were on the U.S. side. So he was pretty much, oh, yeah, guiding us on, uh, oh, 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 that looks so cool. Um, pretty much guiding us on oh people God. as they were crossing. So we've partnered up. We've been working together for the last three, four months now. And uh, 